Hi, I'm Fast Team Program Manager Phil Dixon, and you're watching 57 Seconds to Safer Flying. Failure to take density altitude into consideration can put you and your passengers into a situation the airplane can't handle. High density altitude means air density is reduced. It's a combination of the lower pressure of a higher altitude and higher than standard temperature. Example is a hot day at a high altitude. High density altitude has an adverse effect on aircraft performance. The airplane wing is getting less air to react to as the normally aspirated engine has less air to mix with the fuel throwing the air-fuel ratio off. That's why leaning the engine with the mixture control is critical above altitudes greater than 3,000 feet. Normally aspirated engines develop 3% less power for each 1,000 feet of density altitude gained. That translates to 70% power at 10,000 feet density altitude. Taking off at 70%? How much more runway will that take? Math time, pull out that POH. During the takeoff, be patient. The airspeed indicator will be slower reaching rotation speed while your sight picture appears somewhat normal. Resist the temptation to rotate early. Lifting off too early may work at first until you're out of ground effect. The danger here is a mushy climb rate. Pulling back sharply increases the risk of a stall spin accident. For risk mitigation, select a point 50% down the runway to abort the takeoff if you're not close to rotation airspeed. The FAA safety team recommends pilots receive specific personal training on mountain flying. We know this edition of 57 seconds ran a little longer than 57 seconds, but we thought it was important to show you that last video of a plane struggling to get off the ground in a high density altitude situation. For the FAA safety team, I'm Phil Dixon. Mm -hmm.